What is computer vision? To answer this question, it is enlightening to think about what biological vision is. Biological vision comes in two main steps. The first is the acquisition of information done by the eye. The second is the processing of this information by the visual cortex in the brain. Without this computing power, images are meaningless to us. Processing brings a jumble of shapes and colors together to form coherent objects. When light hits the back of our eye, photoreceptor cells send signals to the neurons in the brain. These neurons detect specific elements in an image, for example a certain line at a certain angle. They fire if they receive positive input, and the next layer of neurons detects small complex elements of an image. This goes on, layer after layer, detecting more and more complex shapes, textures and colors until entire objects are recognized. This is like bringing together pieces of a puzzle to create meaning in our minds. How is the brain capable of doing this? Who taught it? Well, it taught itself by being bombarded by information from the outside world. When we were babies, we weren't yet capable of recognizing objects. We had to learn to do so, creating and reinforcing all the proper connections in the brain on the way. We played with shapes, learning which objects fit into which holes. We had our parents repeating the same words when we were confronted to the same specific things. After a while, we were able to pronounce these words on our own when we saw the associated objects. This took a lot of time, because things can look vastly different depending on the point of view. We now have the necessary information to understand the basics of computer vision. Computer vision is an imitation of biological vision. The photoreceptor cells at the back of our eye are replaced by the pixels of a digital image taken with a mechanical eye. These pixels are sent into an artificial brain called a neural network where we have layers of abstract interconnected neurons coded into a computer, sending information from one to the next until objects in the image are recognized. But how does the neural network learn? Just like the child, it must be fed an immense amount of images and must have someone's input to tell it which object is which in its field of view. This is where big data comes into play. Tremendous amounts of example images must be fed into neural networks for them to learn properly. Computer vision is, simply put, the automation of biological vision. It can be used for any repetitive task that biological vision is used for, such as driving and quality inspection, among others, and accomplishes these with great efficiency, without ever getting bored 